Dear readers, today I want to teach you that when you compare books, categories begin to form. You start to realize that books teach similar lessons. You can think, how are these lessons the same to group books together? Love, Miss Corte. I want to start by telling you guys a story. So before we had to shut down for the coronavirus, I wanted to buy a new book. But I had no idea what book I wanted. So I went to the bookstore and I saw so many books and I got overwhelmed. How would I choose one from all of these books? Then I noticed that in the middle of each table of books, there was a sign. Each sign said something like animal friends, space adventures, uh, love stories. And I noticed that the bookstore had put their books in categories of books that had things in common or the same. And to do this, they had to do the same work you were doing in your lessons. They had to compare the books and think about what was the same and what was different. And that's what we're gonna work on doing today. Okay, so watch me as I compare books that I know and think about what categories they might go in. So let's start here with Iris and Walter and the field trip. Well, hmm, what category could this go in? Maybe books about school or books about field trips or books about following the rules or hmm, maybe books about friends. Hmm, you know what? I think that since Iris was so worried about Walter when he got lost and she helped him. I want to put this in a friend's category. And I actually thought about what message or what life lesson did I learn from this book? And that's the category I want to put Iris and Walter in. And I thought that from this book, I learned friends are always there for each other. So Iris and Walter, I think, would go in that category. Hmm, let's see. Well, here I have Little Bear. And you know what? I feel like Little Bear has the same message or the same life lesson. Little Bear's friends are always there for him. So I'm going to put that in the same category because those books are similar. Hmm, now let's look at this book. Pinky and Rex and the Mean Old Witch. Well, in this story, there's an old lady who lives next door to Rex, and she's not very nice to them, and they're not very nice to her, and in fact, they want to play some tricks on her. You know what? I don't think that this book would go in this category because friends are always there for each other, isn't the message or the lesson that I get from Pinky and Rex and the Mean Old Witch. But you know what I do, what message I do get from this book is to treat others as you want to be treated. So now I have two categories. I have friends are always there for each other and I have treat others as you want to be treated. So now let's look at some more books and see if we can decide what category would they go in. Here I have George and Martha one more time. And if you remember in this book, George and Martha are best friends and they help each other whenever they're in need. So let's see, treat others as you want to be treated. Our friends are always there for each other. You know what? That's another one that goes here. From George and Martha, I learned that friends are always there for each other. Let's keep going. Ooh, here we have one of my favorite books, Ish. And if you remember in this story, Ramon loves to paint. He loves to draw and paint until his older brother laughs at him and then he gets really discouraged and he decides to give up until he finds out that his little sister has been making an art gallery of all his drawings and paintings. And then he doesn't feel discouraged anymore. He actually feels like, oh, wow, this is so freeing. My paintings and my drawings don't have to be perfect. They can just be ish.
ish. They can they can look plant ish or flower ish. And so let's see. Does this go in the category friends are always there for each other? I don't think so. Treat others as you want to be treated. Hmm. I don't really think it goes into either of these categories. Let's think. You know what I think about this one? Don't give up. You know, at first, Ramon gave up. But in the end, he learned, I'm not going to give up. I'm going to keep practicing. I'm going to get better. You know, my work doesn't have to be perfect. So I'm not going to give up, and I'm going to keep trying. So now we have three categories. Let's keep going. Let's see if we can find some more. Oh, here we have another one. Frog and Toad are friends. Where would this book go? What do you think? Well, which category would that go in? I want you guys to decide. I'm going to give you another one. Here's our story, Poppleton. What was the message in Poppleton? Was it about not giving up? Was it about treating others as you want to be treated? Was it about friends are always there for each other? I'm going to let you guys decide. It's your turn. Let's take a look at another book. Mr. Putter and Tabby Drop the Ball. Was this about friends always being there for each other? Treating others as you want to be treated? Don't give up? Hmm. I'm going to let you guys decide. And then let's do one more. Here we have Pinky and Rex and the bully. Now, I know Room 104 has seen or has listened to this story, but if you haven't listened to this story, this one is about Pinky, and he gets bullied. He gets bullied by a boy in, the, in a grade higher than him, and he feels really bad when the bully treats him mean. So where, where would this one go? Hmm, don't give up. Treat others as you want to be treated, or friends are always there for each other. Okay. Readers do this kind of work all the time. They're always putting books and lessons into categories. It helps them realize the types of books that they really like, and sometimes the book that they don't the books that they don't like as much. Then they can pick new books to read that might fit in these categories that they love. So boys and girls, today and every day when you read, I want you to put similar stories into the same categories by thinking. Are these books mostly the same? And how? You can put them together in a stack and even make a post-it note label for the category. So I want you guys to take your books at home and put them into stacks like you helped me do. Let's go over. So we might have a stack that says friends are always there for each other. We might have another stack of books that the similar message is to treat others as you want to be treated. You might have another stack with a similar message of don't give up. You might have another stack with the message to do your best. Your best is good enough. You might have another stack of books where the message is to be honest. Okay, and you might actually think of some different categories of how you can group your books. All right, off you go, boys and girls. Have fun.